This whole thing is complete bullshit, and always has been. I mean, what's his job, really? To keep shit from reaching the woodlands. Jack, I don't know where they are. You're a bar. You're supposed to have darts around. And I normally do, but who knows where the fuck they went to after... Come on, Holly. I need entertainment. This'll do. Holly, you got a minute? Why? Please, Holly. It's important. Miss White! I heard you had kind of a strange morning. It's been kind of a strange morning for everyone, I think. Every time I see this guy, he seems to lose weight. It's amazing. It really is. He loses weight and yet somehow keeps all the muscle. Jack. Wolfie, my dear, how are you? Because, you know, we were just talking about you. All of us. At the bar. Here. About you. I just need to talk to Holly. Privately. All right. Just give us a second first. I'm dying to hear about the body that came out of the East River this morning. It was a fable, right? Oh, everyone knows. Tweedledee was just here. You he said it looked like Snow White. What the hell, Crane? Sorry. Tweedledee said you arrested him for no earthly reason. Kept him locked in the cellar all fucking night. He said you tortured him. Which... I don't know, that seems like a breach of your legislative duties. Bigby, come on. You can't be so dumb as Jack, to... find the off button, now! What is it with you two? You and Gran are all, let's get a posse together when there's no one around, but as soon as the big bad wolf walks in, your tails go between your legs. Cat got your nerve? What happened? What happened? I'm tired is what happened. Tired of what? Of trouble, Jack. I'm sick and tired of trouble. I don't want any more. So just stop revving his motor or wait outside or fuck the hell off. I don't care which. Jack. What? Bigby, look. Two fables are dead. And shit, Gren's sister... Holly's sister. Holly's sister has been missing for what? A few days now? And we haven't heard word one about it from anyone. Actually, have there been any updates? On my sister? I... Don't know how to say this to you, Holly. The woman we found in the river. Who was it? You know who it was. Boy, I sure walked into that one. If you say one more fucking thing, just one more thing. God fucking damn it! Of course, the dear princess Snow fucking White is all safe and sound. Where were you when we reported this weeks ago, huh? Where are you when we ever fucking need you? If you'd give one ounce of a shit about her, about any of us, she might have been saved. She might have been cared for. She might have been... I'm sorry, Holly. I'm sorry we found your sister this way, and I... I wish this had ended up better. Get the fuck out of my bar. I just want It should have been you. It should have been you, and it wasn't. We recovered this from her personal effects. I thought you might like to have it. 
I didn't know she still had this. <sighs> the copper was from a dwarf mine. It's very rare and very old. It's quite lovely. Grin. Yeah? Take off for a bit, would you? Are you sure? about our life. Honestly, we didn't talk often. <sighs> she was lost here in the city. She just got swept away by it. Why were you two not talking? It seems so fucking petty now, but I just, I didn't want to watch her with her. I think she was off the Monday drugs, but she was hooking to pay down debt. It ain't me up to see her that way. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. The owner, Georgie, with all his fucking fees, it's a crock of shit. That's how they kept her under their thumb, really. Holly, it's okay. If it's too much, we don't have to do this. Pudding and pie, huh? What do you know about the place? It's a real garbage dump. We can just go check it out. We've got a lead. Maybe we can take it from here? <laughs> Lily. Thanks for everything, Holly. Is there, um, is there anything we can do to- No. No, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy and I don't need charity. It's not charity. It's looking out for our own. Is she? Where is she? She's at the business office. She's taken care of. I'm gonna have to go down there and get her. Fuck. Please, we can handle the funeral arrangements. No, no, it's, it's a kind of... It's a formality with trolls. We burn our dead by sunrise or... I don't know. Of course. Okay. Good. Let's go down to the business office and start making the necessary preparations, all right? Pet club? I'll go down there now. See what I can find out from the owner. You were good with her. I'm impressed. Really, thanks. It just made everything easier. What a nice surprise. I'm not sure I've seen you here before. You're always welcome, of course. Is it business or pleasure? Or both? I've got some questions for Georgie. Straight to business this time, then. You're in luck. He's here. Come on. I should warn you that Georgie does not like to be bothered when he's working. And he's in kind of a mood right now. I mean, more so than usual. It'll be fine. I have a way with people. <laughs> so I've heard. Welcome to the Pudding and Pie where we cater to the diverse tastes of the Fable community. Your pleasure is our pleasure. Your desires are our desires. Your imagination is the menu, and discretion is
is our guarantee. You can skip the spiel. Save it for the customers. Always looking for more customers. What do you think you're doing? You look like you're trying to take a shit. Who's gonna want that? No one's gonna want that. I can take it from here. Good luck. It's your face. You have to smile. You never... Oh, it's you. We're closed. Keep dancing, you. I didn't say stop. For fuck's sake. You, stay right there. Don't even think about sitting down. You, Georgie. Brilliant deduction, Sheriff. What do you want, then? You here for a little taste? Tell you what, come back after midnight, maybe. I can hook you up. Or, uh, knowing you, this is probably not quite your style. You'd prefer someone who can take a bit of a beating. Tell me, do you prefer a stationary target, or one that will put up a fight? You don't know me. You don't know me. Okay, mysterious lone wolf, right, I got you. Jesus, Big B, you're so corny. I love it, though. No, seriously, I love it. Okay, all right, Sheriff. Just fucking with you. Look, I know why you're here. Are you sure? Listen, Sheriff. Around here, we can't afford to wait for you and your swanky pals to take an interest. We have to look out for each other. When shit happens, I hear about it. Especially if it concerns my livelihood. In that case, I assume you knew Lily was glamoured. Of course she was, you daft git. She was a troll. No. I mean glamour to look like another fable. Yeah? Well, so what? Who gives a toss? People get up to all kinds of things when nobody's watching. It's sick. Ha! Ah, that's quaint. Especially coming from you. The 13th floor would never provide a glamour like that. It's strictly black market stuff. Ooh, black market, is it? How exciting. This is exactly what I would expect from a thug like you. Storm in, throw around a bunch of accusations, try to scare people. But you've got fuck all to back it up. And we're all just meant to jump any time the wolf shows his teeth. He used to be something, you know. Now look at him. Anyway, even supposing she was doing a special glamour, it wasn't for me. I don't need the trouble. For who, then? I don't know. She had clients. Maybe one of them was into it. A lot of fucked up people in Fable Town. Like who? Try looking in the mirror. Anyway, now what to do with me? Go on then! We're not done here. I think we are. I said we're not. You're gonna hit me? Go ahead. That's what you want to do, right? That's what you came here for, right? One more time. Who hired her? Oh, no, fuck! You! Take your sad fucking face where I can't see it! Bloody bastard fucking shit! You proud of yourself, mate? Proud of your little mess? Fuck's sake. Fuck up, Hans. Hold on a minute. Hans, is it? Hans just cleans up and provides a little muscle when we need it. He's not gonna know anything about the girls and their clients or any of that. No one knows. Don't you get it? It's by design. Discretion is our guarantee, right? And the way we guarantee that is that no one knows anything they don't have to know, including me. I cover my eyes and take my cut. End of story. Why not look it up? 
What's that? Isn't there a little book with all the stuff about the girls and all that written in You're it? You're a fucking moron! Show me. There is no book. And as for you, Hans, we need to work on your communication skills and have a fairly good idea where to start. Hey, that's my personal property! <laughs> sure, go ahead. Do what comes naturally. Tell me about the book. You haven't got the slightest clue about anything. Hey, now! Cut the crap, Georgie. I want the book Hans is talking about. Hans is confused. Again. Don't even think about it. Look, Georgie, why don't you just tell me where the book is? Can we please not go round and round about this? There's no book. End of story. Do not touch that. You hear me? That's nothing to do with you. this? Looks like a floor safe. I uh, wouldn't know. It was here when we moved in. I don't have a key to it. Sheriff, will you come on? Fuck's sake, I've got to open up in a few hours. Jesus, you're killing me. I'm begging you. I'll pay you. Leave it. There's nothing there for you. All right, all right, all right. Bloody come on, then. Prick. Once again, don't get your hopes up. There's nothing in here that'll tell you anything. But it's a kick to the balls for me and my club, so we can be happy about that. Here. This is Lily's last entry. So tell me, Georgie. Who's this Mr. Smith? Oh dear. I'm afraid it might be a fake name, Bigby. Secrecy is sort of how this all works. Even Hans knows that. What's 207? Room number? I don't fucking know. Millimeters, maybe? Don't bullshit me, Georgie. This is your book. Your girl. I'm not their fucking secretary. I give them a stage. I give them music. I provide an erotic venue to attract and retain clients. But let's be clear on something. The girls make the arrangements with their clients, not me. The girls. They're the ones with the Mr. Smiths and Joneses and Mr. X types. Whatever happens outside the club, that's on them. I log the business, take my cut, and I'm out. Now, I've had quite enough of you and your bullying. Excuse me while I call your superiors to make a complaint. Hello? Business office? Georgie? Yeah, that's right. Fifty-eight. Hmm. I want to talk to the deputy mayor. I don't give a rat's ass about that. Just fuck off and fetch him for me, all right? Lip 
lipstick, lip gloss, compact, glitter. Lock's been busted open. Broken open. But there isn't even a lock. Faith, thanks for covering for me tonight. Let's talk before you go over to the apartment. Lily. Looks like they both saw one of Lily's clients. Excuse me. I heard you out there. I don't remember ever seeing you here before. I didn't have a reason to come here before. Yeah. You're trying to place me. They used to call me the Little Mermaid. Once upon a time. Does that help? You have legs. Kind of glamour? No, they're real. Do you like them? They cost me a lot. My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa, I've got some questions. Of course you do. I don't have answers. You'll have to find those yourself. I need to know about one of Lily's uh, clients. Calling himself Mr. Smith, apparently. We can't talk about work. This is a murder case. I mean can't. These lips are sealed. Discretion is our guarantee. It's how things work here. People keep using those phrases. What does it mean? This is what I need to know about. Lily's last entry. Who's Mr. Smith? Where's room 207? I have to know. These lips... Sheriff Wolf, would you like to make an appointment with me? What exactly are you suggesting? We could make all the usual arrangements, the usual place. Okay. What would I need to do? I need a hundred and fifty. It's not good to be short. Okay. Oh, I, uh, I don't, uh... Wait here for a second. Not 207? You'll think of something. The open arms. Hmm. This is where they met. Enjoy your stay. I hope you find what you're looking for. <laughs> 